Here's all you'll need for my braised steak and home cooked gravy. A sprig of fresh thyme, if you haven't got fresh thyme just use half a teaspoon of dried thyme. Of course, a couple of braising steaks, some beef stock, tomato puree, garlic clove and then veg, you can use what veg you like really but I like the earthy ones like carrot, onion, mushrooms and I need a couple of bay leaves oil, get one that's got a high smell point so you can get it hot to fry your steak and in the end for your gravy you're going to need a bit of corn flour and a bit of mustard powder. First thing to do is get some oil into your pan, get that on the heat and then we're just going to season the steak, salt, cracked black pepper on both sides on season trim off anything you don't like the look off look of like excess fat once you've trimmed your steak it's time to get your oil heated up in your pan and place your steak in listen for that lovely sizzle you're gonna give them a minute or two only turning them once on each side, don't keep turning and turning, otherwise all the juices will come out and you want them to get sealed inside, not come out. Once about a couple of minutes, time to flip them over. In two minutes on that side, your steak should be sealed. With your steak sealed, take them off the heat and then it's time to prepare your veg. With your veg prepared, time to turn the heat back on and go in with your carrots and onion. And just give them a couple of minutes to soften down. When they've had a couple of minutes, Take off your pan lid, then it's in with your mushrooms, clover garlic and your thyme. Just take the thyme leaves off the stalk and give them a little, little chop. Again, just give them a minute or two just to soften down and steam through with the lid on. Your garlic and mushrooms about a minute it's time to go in with your stock and then into there two or three bay leaves a little splurge of tomato puree and it's time to turn your heat down to very low and you're going to leave that for at least an hour and a half if not longer until your steak falls apart. Delicious. If you haven't got a pan with the lid, you can then transfer all that into a casserole dish, pop the lid on and pop it in the oven to do the same thing. When your steak has had an hour and a half, or two hours, depending what cut you got, take it out and you can keep that warm in the oven or a hot plate. Take the steak out and then it's time to make your gravy. To add to the gravy, going in with a good tablespoon of your corn flour and then half a teaspoon of your mustard powder. Give them a little mix and then in with a couple of tablespoons water, make sure it's cold water. So into there with your corn flour and mustard, get that mixed in. And then don't put the lid back on. What you're going to do is reduce that down and 
until you've got the gravy consistency that you want. It's not too far off now, so it shouldn't be long. With your gravy ready, time to get your steak onto the plate. Get your gravy onto there. Delicious gravy. And then whatever you're accompanying it with. And enjoy your fall apart steak.